So what'd you guys build today? So what we have right here is a dual Xeon gaming and workstation PC featuring two E5 2650 V2s and an RX 6600. So we often get asked, is this really worth doing? And the answer is sometimes. You get some really awesome multi-core performance, but then when it comes to that single core performance, being at 3.4 gigahertz and having to work with two different processes going back and forth and gaming and whatnot can honestly be a little bit slower than something even like a 10th gen i3, but the total of this build ends up being between five and 600 bucks so if you're going to build it yourself that's really not too bad considering it looks awesome and when you do those multi-threaded tests this thing could actually really excel and the rest of the build does include a one terabyte two and a half inch ssd from team group we do also have a seagull 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply we are using the montec air 903 max eatx which is a really good bargain at 75 dollars with three rgb fans up front you can get it for 65 without the rgb if you don't want rgb and we are using two of the iwong goo cpu coolers <laughs> That's what we're going to call them, and they're not even matching. Alex Prescott did this dirty with two non-matching coolers, but they do mount on the Xeons perfectly fine, and they will keep them nice and cool. And uh, yeah, as Jackson mentioned, we're going to be selling this PC for $600 over at PCBros.Tech, but there will be a Toast for his video on this as well, so go subscribe there, and uh, yeah, buy a PC from PCBros.Tech today.